This is Alin from Javelin, playing again with the new toys in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Today we'll be talking about bounding boxes, trying to determine what is the smallest box that would fit your model. At this time, this functionality is limited only to wellments, but that shouldn't stop us from trying something else. So I have a part here that's obviously not a wellment. Let's try to find what is the smallest box that would fit this part. In the past, we used macros for that, but all those macros, or some of the most of the macros that I saw, uh, had a big limitation. The fact that when you are trying to create a box, it will just align it to the triad, meaning that it wouldn't be necessarily the smallest box possible. Uh, let's say uh, what I want actually would be something like like this, so a box going this way. So let's see how this is done in SOLIDWORKS 2013. Allow me to throw a wellman feature in the tree just to declare this a wellman. And now I have my cut list. I'm just going to update it. And the body it's now inside a cut list item. Allow me to right click on it and this is the command you're looking for, creating bounding box. The result it's a nice 3D sketch and as you can see it looks like it's the sm smallest sketch so it minimizes the volume of the box quite quite nice that's not all if you go to the properties of this cut list item you're gonna find out that SOLIDWORKS was nice enough to create four properties for you the bounding box thickness width length and even the volume so you can use this in a cut list unfortunately at this time you cannot run, as I said, the bounding box directly from the part. So these properties wouldn't go automatically at the part level. So what you can do in this case? Well, just throw some reference dimension on the bounding box. I'm just going to throw one of them, but you can throw the other ones. Go to the properties of the part. And let's say this is going to be the Z dimension. And just make this pretty much equal to that dimension. So now if you go through the properties, what you have is exactly the height of the bounding box. I really hope that SOLIDWORKS will automate this for the parts also, so you don't, I don't have to go through all this. Thank you very much. Please come back tomorrow for another videos, for another video in this series. Thank you. Bye.